One of the stars of the original Italian job, John Frigem, has died aged 75 after breaking his collarbone in a fall at his home. The actor fell from his bed and broke his collarbone on Wednesday night and was later rushed to hospital after suffering an internal bleed. He died at 2.30 p.m. on Friday, his daughter Jonesta confirmed yesterday. The grandfather of five, who lived in Worthing, East Sussex, played Frank in the 1969 Michael Caine classic, but was perhaps better known to younger audiences for his role as Frank Lislett in the hit ITV series Footballer's Wives. He also appeared in films including Mean Machine and Crossroads and dramas such as Doctors, The Bill, and Casualty. Speaking yesterday, his devastated daughter, 45, said, Dad was a very talented actor and a charismatic and wonderful man. We had a close relationship and I was the person who looked after him. He would want to be remembered as this wonderful actor. He lived and breathed acting. She added, It is still very raw. It is a shock because he died suddenly. We're all in shock. He had a fall on Wednesday night and called me on Friday morning to say he wasn't very well. He was rushed to hospital and he had some sort of burst inside, something ruptured. There was blood everywhere. Frigim was born in Kidderminster, West Midlands, on May 14, 1941. He got into acting after joining an amateur dramatics group while working at a factory and later won a scholarship to prestigious acting school RADA. His death, which is being treated as unexplained awaiting a post-mortem, follows a four-year battle with mental health issues, his family said. After footballers' wives stopped running in 2006, he struggled to get work and fell into a deep depression and would sit in his flat staring at the wall. The reformed alcoholic's physical health also deteriorated as he battled mobility problems and breathing difficulties and he moved into a care home. But his daughter says in the past year he had been making a recovery and was moved by social workers to a flat where he lived by himself. Jonesta said, he hasn't been doing much since footballers' wives. He fell into depression as he didn't get much work. He got very depressed. He stared at a wall for four years. He had psychotic tendencies and was put under section. He spent a year in a mental institution. When he came out, social services dumped him back in his house and they left him there to rot. He wasn't paying his mortgage because he was ill and they were going to repossess his house. They sold his house and put the money in the bank because he wasn't mentally fit and he moved to an old people's home. Then all of a sudden he snapped out of it about a year ago and he was moved into a flat. She said as well as his inability to find work, a newspaper story which exposed him as a sleazy webcam pervert left him down in the dumps. Jonesta said, he didn't get much work after that. She added that acting was his life and said, not being able to act contributed to his depression. He was troubled most of his life and he struggled with going up and down, but he lived and breathed acting. Acting.